Grade school was a blast. Um, I had a lot of friends that were going through class at the same time I was. I grew up over near the old Stevens School, which is now the community center, and walked to, walked to school, had a great time, really enjoyed it. As a person of color, um, my family is really important to me and my family helped to shield me from some of those issues of race at the time. So I was just a happy kid growing up and didn't really find out about the ugly side of racism for people of color until much later, like when I was in high school, so. The biggest experience that I had that shaped my experiences were teachers like Aaron Hurwitz and Pat Romberger um, and so many others that uh, led me to where I am today. They encouraged me to be a good writer, a good communicator, and fostered leadership abilities in me that I still am grateful for today. Role model in my life was my late uncle Roosevelt Wilson who was a former police officer, served the force for 30 years here in Carlisle, uh, only the second African-American to ever be hired by the borough. So we're all, he and I are both first, as I was the first African-American mayor. And he taught me the power of respect and treating people like you want to be treated. And he also told me that most people don't want me to solve their problems, they just want me to listen. And I, 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 st I still use that today. Well, I'm mayor, so that, that's, 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 that's a big thing I've pursued. But I also uh, got a degree in political science at Old Dominion University, which is in southeastern Virginia, and used that to come back and get a job working for our Pennsylvania House of Representatives, where I work as a legislative staffer. In our current culture, I want them to know that they're not limited by, by their background, where they come from, who they are, who their family is, that the world, that all the world owes you is an opportunity and they need to take advantage of that opportunity any way that they can. To read, and if you don't read, you uh, can watch a video on YouTube. Just do your research, understand who the major players are, understand what Black Lives Matter mean, and also just to try and take advantage of any kind of learning opportunity you can to learn about our history. Stay in school. <laughs> That's my biggest thing. Um, if you stay in school, work hard, get good grades, the world will open up to you, trust me.